Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. We're still in Genesis chapter 39 now. We've moved from Genesis chapter 38 to chapter 39. And in chapter 39, verse 2 to 3, I find something very, very interesting over there. And I'd like to capture my thoughts this morning with the words, prosperity redefined. Prosperity redefined. You know, we, we have a definition of prosperity that sometimes is worrisome to me. Or that is a very concerning thing to me. Now in Genesis chapter 39, verse 2 to 3, the Bible says, Joseph was a prosperous man. And whatsoever he was doing, he was prosperous. God made it to prosper. God prospered him. Hey, but, but wait a minute. His environment was in the service in Potiphar's house. So he was a servant and he was a prosperous man. Wait, wait, wait a minute. This defies the picture that we have of prosperity. This defies the picture we have of prosperity that someone who works in lavish abundance and has everything that is a master of all his service, and then, you know, the biggest fish in the hole, Primus inter Paris, the Capo de Tutti Capi. But the Bible says Joseph was a prosperous man in somebody's house as a servant. Whoa. And that's exactly, you know, sometimes our, our, our wrong definitions would, 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 would hurt us. So you may compare yourself and say, I'm not prosperous because you see somebody driving in flashy cars and all those other things. They say, yeah, this person is prosperous. Well, I am not prosperous. That is not the definition. And when I checked the Hebrew word that was used over there, I, 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 I was like, wow. The Hebrew word that was used there was chalak. That means be good. So Joseph was a good person. He was a good person in Potiphar's house. And not only that, be good, but also be effective in what you do. So Joseph, even though he was in someone's house, he was prosperous because he was effective in what he was doing. That means whatever he was doing had effect. I think we need to be very careful the kind of definitions that we give to ourselves because sometimes it makes us chase paper moons. It makes us chase what is not there. And sometimes comparing ourselves to other people, we might be making dire mistakes. Of course, I want you to have all the lavish goods that you need. I want you to ride in all the, the powerful cars that you can drive. I want you to live in the kind of house that is outstanding, that is amazing, that is all, that is inspiring. But at the same time, Joseph was prosperous, and that's what you need to factor into the equation of your life, or the equation of your definition. That's all I want you to do. Factor that into the equation of your definition of prosperity. It's not that easy as why it's called MX plus C. Sometimes it's a differential equation. Sometimes it's not just a differential, it's a quadratic equation. And sometimes it might be more than that. Sometimes it's more than you think. And I think that our, our definition of, of prosperity has weakened many people's resolve and therefore they go into things that they shouldn't, things that will break them and destroy their morals and, and, and hurt them in the end. And those people would then begin to languish in the phrase, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his own soul? That's where, they, that's where they stay. In our attempt to be prosperous, then we begin to do things. We're going to steal, we're going to do all things. We're going to, we're going to rob a national kitty because that's your definition of prosperity. But the Bible says that Joseph in Potiphar's house, he was good and he was effective. And God called it prosperity. Well, God called him a prosperous man. Mm. That is a man who had mastered prosperity. Mm. Well, the choices are always yours, so see you later. Please visit our website, graphic.com.gh, or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. Subscribe now.